Morning all. Um, it's only just morning. It's 11.55. I forgot to record before going to the hospital this morning because I wasn't really awake. Um, I'm not really awake now, to be honest. <laughs> hospital went okay. They were running an hour behind, which is a pain in the butt because Duncan's actually taking his lunch break during the hours. He takes me to the hospital um, and it ran over. <laughs> I think we were gone for about two hours, which is not good because you don't get a two hour lunch break. So he's got a lot of work to do to catch up on lesson, which is not good. But they seem to cope pretty well without him, so it's good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back four to six months, and this time around I'll need to have blood tests just so they can monitor, check all my levels are good. Um, keep an eye on my thyroid and things um, which I don't officially have a thyroid problem but it is borderline um, so I'm guessing they're just keeping an eye on it uh, to be honest I think I do have a thyroid problem but their numbers you know have a wide range and I think their wide range is too wide for me but I just have to you know listen to them and see what they say but yeah otherwise it seems all good no change no change in my medicine has I I only take it when I'm really sick, um, because my asthma pump is already providing me way too money still. Uh so that's about it. So crochet wise, what I took with me, I ended up when I was pulling down project bag to do, I couldn't remember which one had the um Christmas corner and corner in it. And so I just picked one to have a look what was in it. Um and it turned out there's a project I forgot I was doing. So I took that with me. Mally, can you just pass that bag up, please? Thank you. I started this a while ago and I forgot. Um, I'm actually about to start doing the decreases and get smaller again. But, uh, obviously it's quite big so you can't see. But it's basically it's just a basic corner of the corner um, blanket. Um, let's show the colours a bit better. There we go. So that's actually basically one whole colour repeat. I'm just starting on the same colour that I started with. So one half of the blanket is one whole colour repeat basically because I have two balls of it. So I was doing one ball for one half, one ball for the other half. And I'm, I've only got that left with the first ball so I'm starting the decrease now. But what I need to do is sort out the colour organ um, change because here... Yeah, we're starting with pink and then going into the colour I'm currently on and then going into purple. Whereas on here, if I just pull that out a minute, as you can see, I did pink and then I'm on to the one. So what should be next should be this purple. Um, but instead, I'm starting basically here. So, I'm not sure whether I could, should just chop out those bits, start on the purple, do them, and then um, once I've done the white, which is on the outside here, look, the white, then move on to doing the pink and purple at the end. That will just keep the flow a little better. Um, or whether I should just say, eh, stuff it and just work straight through and not worry about the colour change. Uh, the OCD in me wants to swap out the colour and make the colour change follow correctly um, because I have issues we all know it <laughs> so that's probably what I'm going to do but we'll see um, I'm just going to finish this row which should finish the end of that yarn I think um, but I have started the decrease um, so I'll have one row of decrease done on the first ball which should give me enough leeway to do the second ball because I know on some stuff I've had one ball can always be slightly longer than the other one which is annoying and as I haven't measured these um, I'm just gonna air on the side of caution so yeah that's what I've been working on I think I'm gonna finish this row off and make a decision on the colour change and get the first row on that started and then I'm going to put this away because this will then become my travel project to take it about for hospital points because I have 
the hospital again on the 20th. Um, today's one was for the endocrinologist for, for my cushions. Um, and the 20th, hold oh, no. on. Babes, yeah. you've got a call. Sorry, be me. Hi again. Sorry about that. Duncan just got a spam call, basically. Um, you know, the ones you get, I've heard you've been in an accident and you were innocent. So Duncan, um, not so politely, told him to get lost. But um, Kurt just come up with an even better plan. Um, he told me and I said he would have said, no, I wasn't easy, innocent. I drove over those kids on purpose and see what they say. <laughs> I would love to see the face of the person on the end of the call if you said that to them. <laughs> That's a, it's a little wicked. But, oh, my God, that would be so funny. <laughs> that made me sick thinking that was funny. <laughs> um Apparently, my oldest son has a rather sick mind. <laughs> but come on, these people who spam call you have been in an accident. I mean, really, do they expect polite responses? I actually got in an argument with one guy over it. He went and said, I, um, I've been in an accident. I was like, uh, not likely, I don't drive. He was like, well, maybe you're a passenger. I was like, I have agoraphobia, I don't leave the house. Um, he's like, well, you must drive at least sometime. I'm like, I don't have a licence. And he's like... Why don't you have a license? You should have a license. I'm like, I'm disabled, asshole. I don't have a license because I can't drive. And he's like, oh, well, that's silly. So I went, fuck off. <laughs> I was just so mad. Some of these people do deserve um, foul language at them. Um, some don't. Some are polite and, you know, they're just doing their job. But some, oh, you know that they're there just to put you off. So it's quite funny. We do have um, my middle son Reese is the funniest because when he answers the phone, I think I've said before, he does um, voices and accents and things and he can confuse the hell out of you. So when he answers the phone for numbers I don't know, he always puts some kind of accent and voice and acts out a character on it. Um, and unless it's someone we know, he'll keep winding them up. <laughs> In fact, I tell a lie, he will keep winding them up if it is someone we know, um, i.e. my mother or my sister, he will wind them up something chronic. By the time I get the phone, they are crying in laughter. <laughs> so it's quite fun. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go and get on with sorting this and then pick the next project I'm going to do and also eat my porridge, which is down there waiting for me to eat. So I will catch you all later. So take care. <laughs> hey, babes. <laughs> Happy Duncan wants to say hi. <laughs> oh, hold on. Someone else wants to say hi. <laughs> this little fellow seems to be getting everywhere. Um, yeah, Mally is having great fun. <laughs> Here we go. I, I will catch you later. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Hi, you all. Um, so, I ended up picking up the Christmas blanket. Turns out the one I was working on is actually this one. As you see, I'm a little behind, but I have got this much done on this one today. Um, the lighting's not very good, but hopefully you can see it. Um, so it's getting there. I decided to bodge job that colour change, so I took out all the pink. I've joined it back, so the colour change now goes in the correct um, places, uh, which is nicer for me. <laughs> uh, I'm actually about to go up for a bath because I'm crashing big time. We had to rush walk into the hospital, um, which on crutches is painful. Um, and it was incredibly wearing for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, we took a while to get parked because apparently some idiots don't know that disabled um, parking places are for disabled people with blue badges. And we end up having to park in a normal one because there's so many um, disabled spaces taken up that there was nowhere for us to park. And that made us a bit late, which was really annoying. Um, but I put my blue badge up and I didn't pay for parking and we didn't get a ticket, did we, darling? No. So hopefully they could see it's because other arseholes were being inconsiderate and in parking in the disabled bays instead of in across the road in the other car park or on the back of the hospital or in the car park where there's thousands of car parking spaces for them they want to take up the few spaces we get outside the front of the hospital assholes <laughs> but here's my rant for the day look <laughs> but yeah so i came out and i've changed the um color change on that one and now i've put that aside after doing a row or two 
um, because that will go back to being my take along project um, and I started on the Christmas blanket I'll do some more of that today and tomorrow I'm actually going to do my mother-in-law's dragon um, like the purple one I done for Mally I'm doing a green and blue one for her so I'm going to get that done tomorrow Ooh, probably went a bit funny uh, and then I'll get back on with this Christmas blanket I want to try to catch up on the Christmas blanket before I even pick up the Big Bang Theory one I so want to pick up the Big Bang but I'm trying to be good um, so and there's no hurry on the Big Bang the Big Bang one is actually for us so um, I can take as long as I like on it whereas this Christmas one is for my mum for Christmas what is going on with the lighting? weird uh, the lighting is terrible I'm going to have to work out a new situation here's Duncan <laughs> he's literally just finished work so he's now relaxing for 5 minutes and I bet any money he's about to start up that Marvel game no, I he just closed had it. the. <laughs> I was playing it, but now closed it. <laughs> he closed it because he knew what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> closed it before. <laughs> He's always playing on it. <laughs> That's his thing at the moment. That's his obsession. That game, no other game, just that one at the moment. Sometimes it's Civilization. Yes. Yeah, Civilization sometimes, but at the moment it's this one. Um, no telling what it'll be next week. <laughs> Um, I need to get some new games. Um, I haven't actually played all my games on my computer. Uh, I need to check Steam, but the problem is it's really hard to get the type of games I like um, and find other types of games I might like instead of just having the same one over and over again. Because um, I'm not really into fighty and platform games and... Um, things like Duncan Play Civilization, that's just not my thing. Um, I'm more into storylines and puzzles um, and thinking things through. So, I don't know. I'll find something, can't I? But, yeah, Mally's just upstairs running me a bath. So, I'm going to go and get in that. Relax for a few hours because they're going to go to the gym. Um, and then hopefully get some more done on this before bed. But I'm actually so tired. <sighs> Don't just start me off. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. Of, you know, I may just um, go straight to bed after dinner. It went really dark again, didn't it? I had no idea. Um, yeah. I'm going to go. Because I keep saying I'm. <laughs> and it's annoying me, so it's probably really annoying you. I'm just going to enjoy my bath and relax and watch some more YouTube. So, I no, will catch you all later. Take care. Bye. Hi, guys. It's um, 10.21 on Monday, the 10th of September. And I kind of forgot to finish this off and put it up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, after I had got out of the bath, I um, had my dinner. And then we watched some scrubs. And we're currently watching The Ultimate Beastmaster. Uh, and then we're going to go to bed. So, yeah, I haven't, I haven't picked up the crochet again, haven't done anything, so I'm just going to say goodnight to you all. So I hope you've all had a fantastic day, and even if it's working, I hope it was a good job. <laughs> um, and I'll see you all tomorrow, so take care. Bye!